Sure, I'll lead it off. I'll lead off with the one that you gave me. How's that? I have been waiting the whole time, <laughs> like since that moment. I want to know so because I wanted to do it, but I didn't feel qualified. So go ahead, go ahead. Okay, all right. So, so Brig texted me and he said, "I feel like you need to, need to do this one. I have one." And I said, "Okay, what is it?" And he said, "What if A Rod never left Seattle? So what if Alex Rodriguez stayed in Seattle and did not go to Texas?" So this is this. Here's the thing, Brig. So I was looking at the Mariners in 2001, right? 116 games. That was their first year without A Rod. And I was also looking at the Rangers, kind of the effect that A Rod had on them. Those three years was all that he was there. Right. Three, Still four, forgotten. I think. Yeah. Like zero impact on that team. However, right. I feel like it's because of the guys he had around him. Mm. In Seattle, with the guys that he had would have had around him still, and replacing the. Uh, I want to say it wasn't Jeff Cirillo. Anyway, the guys that they had it at, at actually, yeah, I think Jeff Cirillo was one of them. They had it shortstop in his place. Another one was uh, Carlos Guillen oh, during yeah. that short window that he was in Texas. And I'll get there in just a minute and why I'm limiting to this window. Okay. So I think based on extra inning wins that season and one run wins in 2001, I'm going to give him two more one run games. And two more extra inning games based on the fact that A Rod's batting average would have been higher. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So the Mariners win 120 games, hold the record, no longer tied with the yeah, Cubs. For sure. And that 120 wins is a record that will never be broken. I can okay. I feel like I can confidently say that because 116 is hard okay. to reach to begin with. 120 would never be broken. So the Mariners would hold that. And they'd still make it to the ALCS against the Yankees, except Brig. Of course, I'm going to have the Mariners winning that series, as you can imagine. <laughs> of course, you are. Yeah. But the reason, the reason I feel like this makes sense is because the current, because they were they platoon shortstops in that in that series, and the shortstops combined for two for fifteen in the ALCS. Ooh, okay, that's justifiable. Ugly. If A yeah. Rod has one hit in four games. Based on where he would have been in the lineup, that's a sweep. The Mariners could sweep the Yankees. Wow. One timely hit in each of those games, which you can pretty much count on A-Rod getting, especially at that point in his career. For sure. Because he Mm -hmm. was considered one of the top three players in baseball at the time. So you put him and Ichiro and Brett Boone together, that's a lethal combination against anybody. I don't care who you have pitching. So they go on the... Play in the World Series, they sweep the Diamondbacks. So, 2001 World Series champions. 2002 goes the same. Win 93 games, miss the playoffs because the A's went crazy that year, won the division. The and the Angels had a pretty good year in 2001 or 2002, yeah. made the playoffs. So then let's get to 2003. They win a few extra games against the A's, who were really really good. Win a few against. A, Extra games against the Angels had a couple of one-run losses, and you, like I said, account for timely hits from a guy like A. Rod in the lineup. You're going to get a few more wins when you have talent surrounding him. So they win the West and make the playoffs. They lose to the Red Sox in the division series, which is where the A's ended up losing to the Red Sox. Yeah. And the Red Sox go on to lose to the Yankees. The Yankees won the World Series in 23 in 2003. This is what happens though: is after that series, there's a fight in the clubhouse. Between <laughs> Alex Rodriguez and Brett Boone okay. about steroid use. Ooh. Okay. Okay. And A Rod goes to management and says, it's either he goes or I go. And true to form in Seattle, Mariners, the owners and management, all of them say, Well, he's cheaper than you. Yep. You're gone. You're yep. out of here. So they ship him off to New York, and A-Rod has the same New York career that he has, right? Everything goes exactly the same. It's just that he doesn't have the Texas part on his resume, and he's already got a World Series championship to his name. Yeah. Now, the the Mariners, in return, the Yankees make the exact same trade because it happens on the same day. The Mariners, in return, get Joaquin Arias and player to be named later, Alfonso Soriano. Oh, those are the two guys that the Yankees traded to the Rangers yeah, right. for Alex Rodriguez. So Alfonso Soriano spends his best years in Seattle, never goes mm-hmm. to Chicago, none of that. And despite the upgrade in the, in the outfield, 
because they move him there before anybody else does. The M's aren't much better than what they were, even though he has a bright spot on some pretty bad teams. So really the right. only change is 2001 to 2004 when the Mariners win that World Series and they have another playoff appearance to their name. That's really like, it's kind of funny to be like, oh man, how would that have been different? But based on the impact, like I said, he had in Texas, which was little to none, yeah, and how good the other teams they would have been going up against in the playoffs, I don't think it would have been super different. Although they may have gone and built the team differently, you know, right, right. But then again, you had Ichiro, so did you need to? I don't, I don't really think so. But who knows? So it's awesome. it, it was really interesting to go through and look and like I don't know, I don't think the dominoes would have fallen too much differently, other than Alfonso Soriano would have been a perennial all-star in seattle instead of chicago it's awesome so, i like that there you go well that was a great one well thank you i was curious <laughs> i was curious 